That doesn't do anything. Um, what is that? That's a that's the cyber rat. When evil cheese attacks the planet, mankind has only one savior: cyber rat. I've got the gel, but... No, I don't have the chip. Because it's in here. Is that where it's supposed to be? So, what was I? Structure gel? <sighs> Thank you, Donis, for sticking around. And by the way, nice choice of microphone, I really like that. Uh, where's the G GTFO door? Give me the GTFO option. Option. I know you had done this, man, thank you. That is a really nice choice of microphone. I, I had really considered that one as well. So th thumbs up for a really good choice there. No, oh, guys, I've got the gel. I don't have the chip anymore because I used it to... Or maybe we get the chip from here. Maybe that wasn't the chip. What the hell is this? A95 worker version 3. The ABC? No, apparently not. Uh, the A8, uh, the A8C, sorry. Um, apparently not. There's, it's not an option. To stream that as far as I know I don't know if some new thing happened but the last thing I know was that was not streamable in any version yeah power pack the power pack I think is the thing that we just wasted or lost the heart of if what can I get a text note? Find Tau and Alpha. Take the gel to Alpha. Alpha. Strasky, are you there? I don't know what these are. I hear you, Herbie. What's up? Uh, just wanted to check in. I have to go do something. I might not be around for a few days, okay? Rally her relieving the listening post? Must be important. It is, Strask. It is. Okay then. Stay safe. Omicron, can you hear us? Loud and clear. Everyone alright? We will be as soon as we make friends with the power suits. I'm sure you'll get used to it. <laughs> Just wanted to check in before we pass the last working Lumar probe. Guys, any last words to Omicron? Don't forget to pick us up. We heard that, right? Don't worry, we won't forget. Alright, heading into radio silence. Good luck, guys. Tau, please respond. This is Rally Herber calling from Omicron. Please respond, Tau. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Unable to connect. Lumar relay out of range. Mm.
Hey, G Pudding, welcome. Ah, another puzzle to solve. What's the point of the... Ah! Okay, that's one more thing down. We need to find... I think we still need to find a power source. Um, I guess. What the? Stop. Oh god. We're getting a save. Jerome, that sounds absolutely delicious.
crap. Um, go away. Holy crap. Where is the freaking power suit? Holy crap. It's not this way, is it? Or is it? Uh, uh, this guy made me confused. Crap! <laughs> Lovely. How the frick did that thing detect us? <laughs> James Crypto, no. Said crap. Crap is a regular thing that can be found in nature. <laughs> Thinking if there's some other way, no, I, that's definitely the way to go. I've got my flashlight turned off. monsters we have everything we need right yeah let's get to work yeah finicky thief is a little bit different <laughs> um i love thief and this is not not like that this is crazy don't worry it'll work Make sure it's all bunched together with the structure jam connecting all the parts. Pretty all sure, right, huh? Try activating the seat from the terminal again. Hey, USG Shimura, welcome. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was gonna suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it, change body. Yes, if you want to stay here, I'm not gonna stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. I don't trust her. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, 
and then make sure it's synced. Yeah. You lost me what? halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. They're lined up. That's everything. You yep. can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So yeah, she has everything under control. I don't trust her. Sorry I don't. Any this be yeah. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> Oh god. Crap. Armor upgrade. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Nothing? What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were going to take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's going to happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? So cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? Oh, God. No. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I mean... I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Oh, God. Oh, boy. But... I mean, what's the point in leaving him behind? What would be the point? The, the, the world he lives in is this... Hell hole with no anything. And the world outside of this place, as far as we know, doesn't exist. And he can't join us on our mission to the Ark. I don't... If we let him live, if we let him wake up in this place, what would be the point? Ex P because... Uh, the Ark is somewhere on the bottom of the ocean and if we go down there, only the, my the version that I am impersonating right now that I am right now can go because he's got the whole suit that can withstand the pressure of the bottom of the ocean. This guy who is also us for up until a few minutes ago doesn't have the suit. He can only stay in this place and, and travel around. You know what? I'm going to let him live. Maybe he can find some way to take this place over and do something helpful with it. I'm going to let him live. I mean, there's no point if I kill him, he will essentially stop existing. But if I let him live, he could maybe do something here. He could maybe do something with this place and make something of himself. You know, I mean, he, from this point forward, he becomes 
a somewhat distinct individual from who we are. You know, that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I love this debate. Um, genius, uh, genius. Uh, that Simon isn't talking anymore because he's asleep. He, we are essentially identical. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna let him live. I'm gonna let this guy live. Because one day, it will turn this place back on its feet. And become the savior of the robot nation. Well, this other Simon's gonna go on a virtual world and have a conga party. If the world gets over by Simon clones, oh yeah, baby. Well, Nightwolf, at least he will do something, right? He'll be the beginning of the Borg. I actually think Catherine will be closer to that. Yeah, Fleet Command, it, it, it certainly is. Moral debates and everything. Where are we going? We're going down into the abyss. But which way are we going down in the abyss? This is nothing. That's too much of an abyss. Haha, <laughs> cut the gamer, nice reference. Ha, G Pudding, I wish I had that option, really. I wish the game wouldn't be just uh, leaving behind. I wish I had an option. Leaving behind with a message. Yeah, Akana, and if you guys don't know, um, they went underwater to record underwater sounds. Which is pretty freaking awesome. How? Um... we do that? We, we're, we're supposed to be going down. How do I activate the thing? Ah. We're going down. Down into the abyss. Into the darkness. flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, 
I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have. Holy crap. Holy crap, here we go again. Catherine? Catherine? Hello, Catherine. What happened? Um, what the hell's going on? Why can't I get Catherine out? I can't remove Ca- Ooh, pretty. Why can't I remove Catherine out from the thing? Where the hell are we? Flashlight does nothing. Oh. I have to try and fix this. Oh, here we go, another puzzle. The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Thank you, Nightwolf. Do I need to do something else? Because this thing is not moving. We have the power back on, but... I don't think this being open or closed makes any difference, but... Let's get back down there. Ooh. Hey guys. How cool is this name? The Midnight Zone. The Abyss. The Midnight Zone. Pretty cool. Perpetual darkness, no permanent sights. We're at 2,557.67 meters in depth. Nice. Does, does 
Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time freezes a minute when you're not moving. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <sighs> it's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. Um, there's a thing that said probe contact. Oh, we're in the abyss and we passed the probe. Holy crap, what the... This is not a power failure. Holy sh... Taco. You did it. You did it. I will make preparations. Who the hell was that guy?